Good evening, everyone. On the behalf of Team Dentist Channel Online, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you. I am Dr. Aditi Misha, and I'll be the host for today's session on the topic Compomers uh, by Dr. Vidushi Goel. So before starting with the session, I have a few housekeeping notes to make. If you have any doubts during the session, you can ask us questions by commenting, and we'll be answering them at the end of the session. If you have joined us from Facebook and YouTube Live, you can ask us questions by commenting and we'll be answering them at the end of the session. So without further ado, I would like to introduce our today's speaker to everyone. Dr. Vidushi Goel has graduated from Santosh Dental College, Ghaziabad, and currently she is pursuing her own private dental practice. So welcome, Dr. Vidushi. Hello. Thank you, Dr. Aditi, for this warm welcome. Good evening to all of you. Uh, you can start sharing your screen and uh, let's start with the session now. Okay. So good evening to all of you. So our today topic will be the compomers, the upcoming restorative material. Is my slide visible to all of you? Yes, it is. Please go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Compomers, the upcoming restorative material. As we have always thought of a filling material, the most common two types of filling material comes in our mind is the glass ionomer cement or the GIC. So what's the next comes out to be? That's the compomers. What are the compomers? What are the advantages to the patient as well as to the, to the dentist? We are going on in this session. So without a further delay, I would like to proceed. What are compomers? Basically, compomers are newly introduced marketed products as the new class of dental materials. Compomers are... A... Sorry to interrupt, Dr. Vidushi. Your yeah. slide is not visible. Okay. Now it is? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Okay, due to some issue, it's not coming in a way that I want, but I will explain in this way only. So basically, what are compomers? Compomers, one second. Compomers are basically the combination of the composites and the glass ionomer cements. So the compomers comes from the Com comes from the composite and the omers come from the glass ionomer cements. So basically, first of all, we will learn about what are composites and what the glass ionomer cements and how the benefits come into the compomers. Yeah, what are composites? Composites are basically the materials which are a combination of one or two micro and macro constituents that are chemically bonded to each other. So what are composites? Composite constituents of two materials. As you all know, its components are the matrix and the fillers. The matrix includes a dimethyl acrylic and the fillers include sodium hypochlorite, sodium fillers and the potassium fillers. So basically these both implement your mechanical properties and your structural properties. And now, with a, now, the, now it comes out what are resin modified GICs. Resin modified, as you all know, GIC is a glass ionomer cement which has two parts, powder and liquid. Now, what is a powder in it? It includes your aluminosilicate, while the liquid includes your polyacrylic acid. It has very good strength as compared to composites, but due to its aesthetically reasons or very uh, or the use of water, composites are more preferable. So uh, here terms comes out, what is resin modified GICs? Resin modified GICs are basically to improve the resin plus GIC. What, why is it so? Because to improve the mechanical properties of GICs focused on the matrix. It includes your polyalkynode backbones, bonds, and the cross-linking between the each other, which includes your covalent bonds. So basically resin modified GICs provides us the covalent bonding between the particles. Now, what are the compomers? Now the term compomers 
which we are which the session is all about compomers are the mixture of composites and glass isomers as i have told you previously about com comes from the composite and the omers comes up with the glass isomers these also have two components your powder and your liquid component the powder composed of the dimethacrylate monomers and the liquid the polyacrylic acids it has two com constituents matrix and fillers what is the matrix in it matrix is dimethacrylate monomers and the liquid is your filler content okay the next thing what is the composition all about what is the composition the composition is all about resin matrix which i have told you dimethacrylate monomers now what it do it forms the structural bond between the between each other between the two carboxylic groups filler it provides its mechanical properties it has silicate glass containing fillers it has photo initiators and stabilizers and the best thing about the benefit over advantage over the composite and the gic it has no water in its composition so it is very basic about it that it has no water in its composition now the next thing comes about what is the manipulation of compomers the manipulation includes three steps first of all for a single component system for single it is a component system that the tip is etch and bonded in one go only you only use a tube in which the tooth is etched and bonded simultaneously while in powder or liquid system it is mixed for 30 seconds as you do in your gic you mix you make it a, in a very thin or watery mixture very slight slug mixture you do in a powder liquid system while in auto mixing system you will provide the material comes out when it is forced through the special mixing with tips like in amalgamator you put the raw material inside it and the amalgam comes out and then you fill it same like this you mix the you put the raw material powder and liquid in that machine and then you, the compomer will comes out now okay the next what is the procedure of this firstly you isolate that area then you remove the kds or the debris part then you make a cavity of it and then you uh, then you make to make the retention to provide the retention then after that you are going to make a cavity and fill it firstly you etched it and then you bond it as you do in the composite now what is the setting reaction setting reaction is exactly same as that of your gic you just wait for 2 to 3 minutes when the powder and liquid are mixed surfaces of glass particles are attached by acids then calcium aluminum sodium ions are leached into the aqueous medium so basically what's it all that the powder and liquid forms bond with each other so that you have a strong mechanical property as well as structural properties now the what are the properties of a compomer that it has a very excellent addition it has excellent addition its chloride release is very minimal as compared to composites it has physical properties better than that of the conventional gic as well as your composites it has optimal properties superior to gic that the gic are superior then lesser compressive strength it has lower compressive strength as compared to gic and your composites then the polymerization shrinkage is very less as compared to your composites and gic basically the whole thing comes out that it has both the advantages of the composites and the gic and it covers all the disadvantages either of the gic or the composites now as the slide is not the way i want what are the indications of it indications is pits and fissure sealants you can use in restorative primary teeth then sealants of root surface retrograde filling materials now what is retrograde 
retrograde filling materials that is when you do a re rct and you need a filling material you can use compomer as a retrograde filling materials sealants of root surface and then you can do the carious part any kind of core build up property uh, core build up restorative material and in uh, restorations of the primary teeth aesthetically is the best uh, best restorative material then what are the advantages of it advantages as you know that the ideal properties of any filling material is it should be biocompatible so firstly it should be biocompatible it should be anti cariogenic in nature it it is aesthetically very important aesthetically it is very good for us it is anti cariogenic it is photopolymerizer now what is what do you mean by photopolymerizer that you can use in the form of a laser okay then you photo curing then it, it can be easily handled excellent handling of it now as you know that every material has a advantage as well as disadvantage so what is the disadvantage of it it presents microfiltration that it, some kind of micro liquid is present in this material low impact resistance sometimes sensitivity to moisture that is it may the patient gets irritated due to the moisture property due to its formation now the conclusion comes out to be that it is advisable for practitioners to request long term in vitro and in vivo independently acquired evidence of the performance of a material basically this material is the new component so it is very important to for the practitioners to know about how to use it now uh, why to use it this comes the question uh, either we yeah, we are using composites and gics in our clinic firstly it is economically very cheap as compared to the composites and the gics it has better mechanical properties better strength and aesthetically it is very good now thank you so much if you have any doubt you can tell me as my slides are not the way i want so the session is very small so if you have any doubt you can let me know this was my whatsapp number telegram group or email id thank you so much dr vidushi for such an informative uh, session and i'm sure that uh, each and every practitioner would be very happy uh, to learn about this uh, new uh, restorative uh, material which is compomer so i request all the participants if you have any doubts you can list them down in the question and answer box uh, in your control panel and we'll be answering them uh, one by one so before uh, moving on to the question and answer session i have uh, I'll be introducing our uh, participants to our organization. Okay. So this is our organization, Dentist Channel Online, with the motto "Healthy Smiles That Leads to Wealthy Lives." I request all the participants to kindly make a note of this website. We have come up with a new website, and uh, this website contains everything and anything that you need to know. and you, that you need to have being a being from dental fraternity uh, our organization dental channel online is the first india's leading digital dental marketing media company which is striving very hard to bring all the dental uh, practitioners and dental fraternity dental marketing companies under one roof and creating opportunities for everyone and we conduct a lot of webinars a lot of workshops every month and being a prime member you can avail a lot of benefits number 1 uh, for all the free webinars you will be receiving one e certificate that is only and only for the prime members this is one sample e certificate which you will be receiving okay i request the participants to kindly make a note of this number take a screenshot and save this number send your full name as a text message on this number on whatsapp uh, so that you are added to our broadcast list and uh, we'll be updating you regarding our upcoming events we have also uh, we have also come up on telegram channel so you can uh, just uh, search us on add us on telegram by typing dentist channel online this is our uh, 
promoter uh, generic implants and prosthetic solutions uh, novamind.gmbh and for the recorded videos if uh, you have missed out any of our session you can go back on youtube and facebook and uh, you can watch our videos recorded videos there you can follow us on instagram by uh, with our handle dentist channel online and you will be updated regarding each and every upcoming events that we have Okay, so we have one question uh, from Dr. Bhavesh. He's asking, can you please repeat how to use it? How to use the Compomer? Okay, uh, so basically Compomer procedure includes, firstly, you isolate that area which tooth is cavitated. Then you remove the cavity or the debris part. Then you make a cavity so that you provide a retention. You follow the same cavity procedures, cavity preparation procedures. And then you just edge that area and you then bond that area. It is uh, possible in single component or in, as I say, powder liquid ratio or in uh, automatic system. Uh, can we use this uh, compomer in uh, re restorations? Like we get a lot of patients with the uh, fractured restoration. So, can we use it? Yeah, it or is we have rest. to scrape off. Uh, we first we have to completely scrape off the uh, older restoration, and then we have to go for this. Yeah, it is very. Uh, it is a retrograde filling material, as I have told you. So you can use in a uh, in cases of fracture tooth, or in refilling cases, or in uh, re RCP cases. You can use it. Okay. Next question we have: uh, What are the cons of compromise? That it causes the micro leakage sometimes. It might cause irritation to the patient sometimes. But it has an advantage over composites and GIC. It has a very disadvantage. It has only one disadvantage that it sometimes causes micro leakage and has less retention property as compared to composites. So, uh, Sensitive to moisture means like what? Excess saliva is not good for the material? Yeah. We have this Excess question from uh, Dr. Bhavesh. Okay. Uh, so Dr. Bhavesh, uh, moisture means, yes, of course, your saliva or any kind of watery thing present inside that. If, if the patient drinks water or any kind of acid consumption like cold drinks of uh, any kind of beverages, so that is harmful to that material. So sometimes it uh, initially it causes your irritation to the patient. So you have to isolate that area. You have to dry the area, area before I, uh, you etched it and then you bond it. Moving on to the next question, Dr. Dipti is asking, can we use it for primary teeth? Yeah, it is the best material for the primary restoration teeth. As firstly, we, the best material comes out to be your GIC. But nowadays, dentists or pediatrics dentists are using the compromise because it is firstly the economic click and then it, it is, has a biocompatible property. Uh, next question. Uh, how much fluoride content does compromise release? It is a very minimal. Uh, okay. It is a very, uh, it has a very minimal fluoride release as compared to composites and your GICs, it's around only 0.01%. Is it better to use compomer than GIC and composite in private practice? Yeah, because it is, uh, firstly, I have told you that it is uh, cost effective. It, it It is better for the dentist to give that area because it, it is firstly, the economically, it is very best. Then second, it has better mechanical properties as compared to composites and GIC. And thirdly, it is biocompatible. So uh, before uh, winding up the session, any takeaway note for our participants? Uh, that start using the upcoming restorative material, the compomers, because let's take dentistry to a new level and hope you all the, uh, all the best for the future. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Viduchi, for being with us and uh, imparting knowledge on this uh, upcoming lecture material. And uh, we're looking forward for more sessions with you. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.
So with this, we are ending today's session. And uh, thank you to all the participants who have connected with us. And uh, with this, we are ending the session. Thank you and good night.